Bow. First aid. Let's talk about it. What is up, y'all? It's your boy Tochi, and today I wanted to talk about one of the most important books that you're gonna be using in your medical career known as First Aid. Now, just a quick little summary. First Aid is pretty much just a summary of pretty much everything that you learn in the first two years of medical school that you have to know for your USMLE Step 1 exam, which is pretty much the first uh, licensing exam that you have to take in order to become a doctor one day. Now, with this video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I did with this First Aid book personally, and then after that, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks tricks and what things I wish I knew before using this book that I feel would be beneficial for you guys in the future. Now, the first thing I want you guys to know is that whatever year you're in, try to get the most recent first aid book out there. I got my book and I was a little bit impatient for the 2019 version to come out, so I just bought it. it. Turns out when the 2019 version came out, there were a lot of extra diagrams in there. There were a lot of extra um, format changes and a lot of extra information that was added into there. And I feel like if I just waited for that to come out, it probably would have been better for me and I probably wouldn't have been like you know using extra pieces of paper to write on the things that were already in the newer version of the book. Another thing that if you look at my first aid, you notice that it's in a binder. It's not sold like this. I actually had to go into a local FedEx and what they did for me is they had it unbound. If you go to like your FedEx and you're like, oh, I wanna get my book unbound. They take like the little side like part of the book. It's usually on this side. They get rid of it and I then told them to do a three hole punch. Why I did that is because I wanted to have a more accessible first aid book. I didn't want to be carrying around my first aid book every single place because it gets annoying because I mean, it's not too heavy, but you know, I like putting other things in my backpack and this would be getting in the way. And I got a three hole punch so I can just take out one specific section. So say like, oh, I'm gonna study biochem today. I just take out the biochem section and then put that in a folder and then take it to wherever I'm studying instead of bringing the whole book with me. Another reason why I got a three hole punch is that throughout medical school, I would get like three hole punch printer paper and I would write my own diagrams, my own notes, and my own words, and the first aid book, it's nice, but it has like not that much space. So what I wanted to do is that I wrote on a p extra pieces of paper and whatever um, those notes uh, pertain to in the first aid book, I would then flip open to that page, open the binder, and then put my own notes into there so it can be all concise and in one place. Another thing that I do with my first aid book is that I got a whole bunch of sticky notes like this right here, put them in whatever chapter um, it pertained to, wrote the name of the chapter on the side of the book, that way I can just look, okay, Okay, this is cardio, this is endo, this is MSK. That way, so I can just take that page like this and then uh, flip it over. All right, and then I'm in that chapter. It's a small thing. It's not like a huge thing that you have to do, but it just makes it really efficient for you to go through your first aid book if you have the book version. And you know, it's just something that I thought was pretty helpful. Now, I actually did have a first aid book before this one, and I had it spiral bound. A lot of people like to get it spiral bound instead of getting a three hole punch and put it in a binder. But for me, I just didn't really like that because like I said, I didn't like carrying my first aid book around with me everywhere. And I wasn't able to just take out pages out or put on my own notes like I do with my bindered one. Now, when you're writing your own notes in your first aid book, make sure you come up with some sort of system. I came up with a different coloring system with different pens, different highlighters. Let me go ahead and show you what my uh, page looked like. I made like little keys to like be all cute with it. But on the dedication page, I just made like a little like key and I put like the highlighter, boxed it, and then wrote, okay, okay, this highlighter for blue would mean disease. This highlighter for green would mean micro or a drug. This highlighter for yellow would be like relevant side. And it was just like a whole bunch of like ways for me to like separate things. That way when I see that this piece of information is highlighted this way, I know specifically what it's for. And it kind of just organizes things in my mind because I'm more so like a visual person. I like seeing a whole bunch of different type of colors and that really helped for me. If you're like that, try it out if you don't like it a is what it is, do what works for you. One of the things that you're gonna wanna remember is that with the first aid book, if you get it three hole punched and unbound, the paper is very flimsy. And you can actually see right here, it's ripped right there, it's ripped right there, it's ripped right there. And what I did is that I got this thing called, what was it called? Binder hole reinforcement. Now what that is, is pretty much like a little like circle sticky and I put it on each side of like the ripped pages. And if you see right here, I put it right here and I put it right here. 
and it was able to this one <laughs> this one <laughs> whoa this one is like oh oh well oh, i think i can save that one but yeah like i put like the little stickies there that way i can just reinforce it and then put it back into my first aid book because these pages are really flimsy and they're not that stable at all another thing that would be pretty helpful is if you get a pdf version of the book one reason why a pdf version would be pretty helpful is because you can go in that pdf version do control f look up whatever you need to look for that way you can just go into your actual book and then flip to the page and see where it is it's just a quick way to find things in your first aid you don't want to be like just flipping around okay where was that thing is it this section is it that section you don't want to be doing that it's just wasting time and in med school you don't have time like that to be wasting another reason why the pdf version of the book would be pretty helpful is that a lot of people don't like using the actual book because you know some people might find it a nuisance it might be annoying just to carry a big you know first aid book all over the place but they use like the pdf version put it in like a note software like good note or like notability if you guys have heard of that and they just took all their notes into the first aid book and you're able to like edit how big the the font is or like where you want to type things in if you want to draw things in and people really liked it like that. Now, I wish I did that because yeah, um, my first aid book is cool and all to have in a physical version. I like having a, a physical book to actually feel and like read. But like after a while, like it just kind of gets messy and like things were like all over the place. A PDF version is cool and all, but like I really like the fact that I took my time and like annotated this whole book and I have something to show for it. This is probably just be one of those things that I'd actually be proud of I'm putting like in a bookshelf or something. But yeah, some other tips and things that I think would be pretty helpful for my school. We didn't really need the book that much in the beginning because upper termers were like, oh, you don't really refer to it as much. Um, just focus on your notes in class, but don't don't listen to that advice. Try to just get familiarized with the book. You don't have to be like going through it hardcore right when you jump into med school, but at least like get like used to the book. If you're doing like biochem like I did in my first term or genetics or things like that, kind of go to the section, see what's in that section, look around, kind of get used to the book because you're gonna be using this book heavy when you get to your dedicated time to study for your step one exam. The way that you're gonna wanna look at this first aid book is as a reference book. Don't just study this book and think, oh, if I just study this book, I'll do perfect in med school. No, it doesn't work like that. This book is pretty much just a foundation of what you should know from your first two years of med school. You should be adding information to this book, adding notes in there that you learn from class, adding notes from other video services that you watch, adding notes from like question banks and things that they explain in there. You should be consolidating every single thing that you learn um, or at least all the important things into this book. And that way you can kind of use first aid to its fullest potential because when you add your own things in there when you um use extra resources you're making this book like pretty much like your power and your biggest weapon in order to slay step one those are all the things that i can think of now for in terms of how i use my first aid book if you guys found this video helpful comment down below leave me some feedback if you guys have your, some of your own tips leave them down below as well i would love to see what you guys did with yours if you guys have ideas on things that you want to ask me or you guys want to make videos on related to med school content let me know in the comment section down below i will be glad to make videos on that that's all i wanted to talk about today if you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys found this informative let me know down below share with other med school students out there and come back to my channel for more content if you guys have any things that you guys want me to talk about related to med school the first two years because i'm only starting my third year in a couple weeks let me know in the comment section down below i will happy to get to you guys peace have a nice day